one week later, before the examination, you receive a new envelope and it looks like this. It looks like this, as you see. Okay. Um, here, um, the, the envelope is different from the previous one because we have got, a, um, we've got special rules and information here. In this packet, we have got uh, information about the um, attendance registration. So you receive this full list of the students with, uh, with the name of their first and last names and then um, the candidate's numbers. And here's information about the um, instruction um, and then the center number and the registration number. As you see, I will try to scan and show it on the video. Uh, on the video to you to show the differences and so you receive all this about each examination that they're going to pass uh, in the science examination they have to attend two times to the science examination two times to the math examination and two times three times to the English examination in the English examination they're going to pass once reading then writing and then listening in the mathematics, they are going to enter to the part one and part two science examination the same way, part one and part two. So it shows the list of the, all the children that they are going to attend, that they are, they are present. So um, as an examiner, Cambridge examiner, you have to note information here whether the student was absent or um, uh, that uh, the student was present. We have to fill in the information and send to the Cambridge University. At the same time, they've got a special uh, kind of um, information, um, this kind of information, give you information to the candidate, uh, the rules of the examination, what you must and what you must not do during the examination. It's very good because the information that they sent in the previous envelope was smaller and it wouldn't be uh, useful during the examination. This paper is not A4, it's A3 format paper so we have to uh, stick on the walls in time because this kind of warning paper as you see here's a warning paper giving information to the children that if you do this the following things you will be you will be disqualified during the examination and the Cambridge examiner is having the right to ask you to leave the room and the rules are like no mobile phones, no smartphones, no technology with communication or storage, no unauthorized notes or revision materials. If you have unauthorized materials, you could be disqualified by the Cambridge examiner. The, the codes in the registration paper and the barcode should be same. Once you give them the examination papers, the children are going to fill in the Cambridge papers. Um, what the examiner over is over, you have to take the paper, put inside of the barcode, stick on here the barcode, student barcode, put inside of the uh, paper, exam papers inside of the stick, uh, stick it here, and send it to the Cambridge uh, Examination Centre, and the information is noted here. So the packet is quite ready for the Cambridge examiner. The installation is very, very easy. So the Cambridge examiner should get the information before the examination to understand uh, what is in the room, what is what the children can and cannot do in the examination, what they should, they must and must not do during the examination. And of course, before the examination, like uh, usually examination started at the beginning of April or um, in the beginning of September. We applied for the beginning of April, but due to the coronavirus, the COVID-19 virus, we were not able uh, to continue our examination series. Uh, I suggested to start preparing children to the examination in the beginning of March and give them one month and provide them with the past papers and make them ready a psychological way. And within one month, children become very quite uh, qualified to enter the Cambridge Primary Checkpoint examination. I hope you loved my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more information about the Cambridge examination.